one of the top players in the league, was a preseason All-Horizon League selection. Des Moines Hodge can light it up. He's had a single game high this year of 31 points against Oklahoma State, career high of 46 last year against Purdue Fort Wayne. And Deontay Johnson, they call him Spider for a reason. He is a great rim protector for CSU. For Youngstown State, the Penguins starting five has been the same since Garrett Covington left the lineup with an injury. They will begin with Shamar Rattan Mays. He has struggled at times this year, has 21 assists as compared to 22 turnovers. He'll need to cut down on those mistakes here today. Dwayne Cohill, a guy that likes to get to the basket, going to have to finish. Penguins need Tevin Allison to get going early. Miles Hunter has been a little consistent, and we'll keep our eye on Michael Akuche, who is eight points away from reaching 1,000 in his career. He also needs just 12 more rebounds to get to 700 in his illustrious five-year career here at Youngstown State. All right, Penguins out on the floor first. Cleveland State will now join them. This one's always a good battle between these two teams. First of two meetings between them this season. They will have the rematch in a very short amount of time. January 21st, 7 o'clock at Goodman Arena. All right, Michael Akuche in the center circle for Youngstown State, which is traveling right to left, met at midcourt by Cleveland State's Deontay Johnson. Johnson playing in his 101st career game for the Vikings. Two experienced players at midcourt. All right, again, our officials, Brandon Cruz, Steve Hanaki, and Michael Nardone. Opening tap controlled by the Penguins, Shamar Rattan Mays. Gives to Dwayne Cohill, picked up by Des Moines Hodge. Cohill, by the Akuche screen, heads to the far side right wing, makes the pass to Rattan Mays far sideline, throws it out front to Akuche, swings to Miles Hunter with 15 to shoot. Hunter makes the pass out of Akuche, near side left wing. Bounce pass on the back door cut intended for Allison. Too far out in front of him and the Penguins' first turnover of the day. Rob, a little bit surprising that Dwayne Cohill was the point guard in that first set for the Penguins. I'm, I'm going to put a big old asterisk next to the name of Shamar Rattan Mays. He has got to step his game up in terms of not turning the ball over. Vikings quickly go into Deshaun Parker in the transfer from Appalachian State. Got inside, posted up his man and scores and gets fouled. Parker, a 6'4 senior from Huber Heights, Ohio. He had a connection to Youngstown State last year. His high school teammate is former Penguin Darius Quisenberry, who now plays at Fordham. Parker started out at James Madison, where he was the fifth freshman in their school to rack up 100 assists, but could not finish on the three-point play. Misses that charity toss. Still Cleveland State with the early 2-0 lead. Ted Mays in the forecourt with the ball now for YSU as they cleaned up the miss. Reeve ball goes out to Akuche. Hands off to Cohill, middle of the floor, hooked it back to Allison near side. He'll drive to the lane through traffic, got to the basket, lost the ball off his knee and out of bounds. Two, two, two possessions, two, two, two turnovers for Youngstown State. Yeah, and this one uh, is not starting out the way we want for the Penguins. Obviously, the Penguins are trying to cut down their turnovers, yet they've turned it over two times in two possessions. All right, out front, Parker. The ball lobs now to Johnson, near side right wing, picked up by Akuche. One dribble scoops the ball to Deshaun Parker, heads down the left of the lane, got it inside to Torrey Patton, reverse layup, no good. Rattan Mays went to get the ball, and Patton undercut him as he hit the deck while trying that attempt at the reverse layup. So the foul on Torrey Patton, his first. Patton will be a big key here for Cleveland State, big physical guy, not the fastest player on the floor, but one of the smartest you'll see out there. Right, Cleveland State trying to trap the ball in the backcourt. Cohill, though, throws it up the court to Allison, makes the catch, heads down the right of the lane to the basket, can't bank it in, rebound, Aku Che turns, forced it back up on the rim, couldn't get it to fall, tap won't go, and the rebound to Johnson of Cleveland State. Clears to Parker, fires it up the floor to Gomillion. Gomillion finds Patton, far sideline, back to Gomillion. Dribbling at the top of the lane now against Allison, in the lane, lost the ball on the way up, picked up by Johnson. In the lane for Cleveland State, in a bit of trouble. Clears it out to Patton, now with 15 to shoot. By the screen to the left wing. Comes back to the top of the lane, to the right of the lane, shoots the short jumper and put it in over Allison. Torrey Patton comes in averaging 13 points, seven rebounds a game for Cleveland State, which leads four, nothing. CSU once again putting some backcourt pressure, easily broken by the Penguins. 
little bit more than two minutes into the game. Coe Hill down the right of the lane for Youngstown State. Gives to Allison alone near corner three. In and out, no good. Rebound, Coe Hill underneath. Pump fakes. He takes the shot, has it blocked. Comes out to Parker of Cleveland State. Throws it ahead to Patton through traffic. Behind the back dribble, lost it, and will go out of play. That was thanks to Shamar Rattan Mays, who kind of stepped in the way of Tory Patton and forced him to try and go behind the back, and he couldn't control the dribble. Yeah, now solid defense by Shamar Rattan Mays. Right place, right time, as you mentioned, Rob. Uh, the turnover was a mental error for Cleveland State. Again, they pick up pressure in the back for Rattan Mays. Being trapped by Parker and Gomillion. Ball taken away. Rattan Mays looked like he got poked in the eye. In the meantime, Cleveland State with the ball, but Hodge missed the three from the left wing, and then Rattan Mays recovers and grabs the miss, still rubbing his eye. Ball goes to Cohill, right to the basket. Tried to take the shot and bank it in, but could not do so. Comes a little bit too hard off of the glass. Yet a foul against Trey Gomillion of Cleveland State. I want to see if they get the, uh, the, the two points, because it sure did look like there was some goaltending there. And they're not going to call that as Deontay Johnson went up trying to block that shot away. 17-17 to go in the opening half. At the line for Youngstown State is Dwayne Cohill, an 85% free throw shooter. First one for him is good. Comes in averaging 9.5 points, four rebounds a game for the Penguins. And As fan, fans finally get an opportunity to sit down. With that, Daniel Ogoro will come in now for Youngstown State to replace Shamar Rattan Mays. Team trainer Sean Bailey will take a look at him. Cohill's next free throw goes straight through. He has now made 12 consecutive charity tosses. And YSU trails four to two. And I would certainly do some backcourt pressure now if I were Cleveland State. Gomillion in the forecourt with it for the Vikings. Gives to Johnson, who swings it to Hodge near sideline. Pushes it topside to Patton, lobs to Deontay Johnson. Top of the lane on Akuche, makes the pass to Gomillion near side of the floor. 14 to shoot, pull up three for Gomillion's off to the right, no good. Rebound Akuche, not really his shot. Only 8 of 20 now for beyond the arc as Allison gets to the basket on Gomillion. Tough attempt and he left short but drew the contact and got another foul to be called against Trey Gomillion of Cleveland State. That's going to be his second. And for the Vikings, team foul number 3. 16.50 to go in the opening half. Kevin Allison of YSU will go to the free throw line where he is an 82% free throw shooter for the season. Against the league, 77%. Allison line to the left. First of two for him. Off the back of the rim, no good. Penguins as a team shooting just under 74% from the line. Better against the league, though, at 82%. For Cleveland State, they've got to take Gomillion out of the lineup. Yahil Hill will come in. Six-foot senior out of Cleveland. Allison trying to split the free throws now. Averaging 12 points, four and a half rebounds a game this year. Push the second one up, push that one in for his first point. And YSU is now down one at 4-3. Right, Parker into the forecourt with it for CSU. Stops, gives to Johnson, middle of the floor. Scoops the ball back to Parker. Around the screen, right wing, pass to Patton. Getting by Hunter to the right baseline, to the basket, goes up strong and scores off the glass. That's what Torrey Patton can do. Physical basketball player. Yeah, and he used his body to his advantage, Rob. He knew he had the baseline. He used his body as a weapon, was able to separate the defender and get the easy bucket. Cohill gives to Hunter left wing. Trying to get loose down the left of the lane. Going to spin to the baseline. Take the fade away. Can't get it to fall. Rebounded to Sean Parker of Cleveland State. Fires Good. it up the floor to Des Moines Hodge. He'll take it to the basket. Left the runner short. Rebound batted around. Johnson trying to grab it. And in turn, he is fouled. Give the foul to Miles Hunter of Youngstown State. His first of the day, Penguins first as a team. They'll go to the bench. Hunter will come out of the lineup, and his place will be taken by Chris Shelton, a 6'4 junior from Louisa, Virginia. All right, non-shooting foul. So Parker will inbound from the right baseline for Cleveland State. Ball comes out to Patton. Makes the catch on Ogoro. 16 minutes to go in the first half. Patton down the right of the lane. Tried to make the pass to Hill. Goes firing past him and out of bounds. And that'll take us to our first time out of the day. 15-59 to go from the Bigley Center, where it is Cleveland State 6, Youngstown State 3.
First National Bank is proud to bring you the first half of today's game. First National Bank provides a full range of commercial banking, consumer banking, and wealth management services, plus industry-leading online and mobile banking solutions. Go to fmb-online.com for more information. Four minutes into the first half here from Bigley. Cleveland State with the early 6-3 lead over Youngstown State. YSU has missed its first six shots from the field, but have made three of four from the line. Cleveland State in the meantime, three of seven from the floor, 0 of one from the stripe. All right, Tevin Allison will inbound from the near sideline. He's joined by Cohill, Ogoro, Shelton, and Akuche. Cohill coming up the floor against Hill. Cleveland State will drop back defensively now. Cohill out front. Pressed into service as the point guard because Luke Chacon's out with a hand injury. Pass inside to Akuche, batted away and stolen by Cleveland State's Deshaun Parker. He'll take it into the forecourt for the Vikings, top of the lane. Backs off now on Akuche. Ball handed off to Hodge. Heads to the top lane, gives to Hill, who will hand off to Pat. 15 to shoot. Pat in the circle, makes the pass to Hill now. Right wing, long three for him. It's in and out, no good. Rebound pulled down by Chris Shelton of Youngstown State. Penguins still looking for their first field goal to be made of the day. Ball comes out to Akuche, right wing. Swings to Agoro. He'll drive right baseline. Whip it out to a wide open Akuche for three. Off the front of the rim, no good. Rebound winds up with Gahil Hill of Cleveland State. Throws it up the floor. Now Pat goes to the baseline. Underneath the basket, trying to get off a tough shot. Cannot do so. Pushed it out to Hill. Left wing three for him this time. On the other side of the floor is no good. And then the fight for the rebound leads to a foul against Cleveland State. Outstanding box out job by the Penguins. Cleveland State trying to get the offensive rebound, and they're going to be called for the foul. Against Deontay Johnson, his first. With that, Cleveland State will bring in Brock Finstoon, a 6'4 senior from Pine Island, Minnesota. Tori Patton will sit down. One thing we know about the Penguins, they do know how to rebound, and part of that rebounding is the fact they box out exceptionally well. Cohill into the forecourt, gives to Allison. Working near side, left wing, bounce to Akuche, left of the lane, against Johnson. Steps to the three-point line. Got to make a pass here, 15 to shoot, ball given to Shelton, out front, open quick three, off the rim, no good, rebound controlled by Hill, and the Penguins have missed their first eight shots of the day. Hill into the forecourt, gives to Hodge, alley-oop to Johnson, makes the tough catch, loses the ball, out of play and out of bounds. And that was one too many passes that time around by Cleveland State. Looked like Hodge had an opening for a jumper and decided to make the uh, alley-oop attempt. Yeah, Cleveland State has had a very sloppy first half, and unfortunately, Rob, the Penguins have not been able to take advantage of it. Dwayne Cohill into the forecourt, gives to Daniel Ogoro, middle of the floor. Agoro now against Hodge, runs to the left baseline, stops left of the lane, got it to Shelton, near sideline three, going to be short. Rebound, grab by Agoro though, bounces to Shelton, left wing again for three. Bang, bang. Chris Shelton finally with a three there. He's shooting 35% from out there. Did not hit one against Purdue-Fort Wayne Friday. That snapped a string of eight straight games with at least one three. The Penguins finally break through and tie the game with their first made field goal, even at six now. Out front, Finstoon working hard for Cleveland State. Pushed off on Akuche, got away with it. Got the ball to Parker, far sideline. Parker by Johnson screen with five to shoot. Around the three-point line, pull up for him. Jumper's no good. Long rebound, run down by Deontay Johnson of Cleveland State. Throws it underneath the Finstoon, who saves it. Down low to Sean Parker, who scores and draws the foul. That's what we talked about. 50-50 balls will be big here today. Got to match each other's excitable level. So the foul on Akuche, his first of the day. And Deshaun Parker looking to complete yet another three-point opportunity. Missed on his first chance after scoring and then missing the free throw. Uh, CSU flying all over the place in that possession, Rob. Bodies everywhere. They're just looking to get a bucket, and they were rewarded. Patton in for Johnson. In the meantime, Parker flips up the free throw attempt and got that to go through for his fifth point. Comes an averaging five points, three assists for Cleveland State. They now lead 9-6. Bertan Mays back in for the Penguins, replacing Dwayne Cohill. Works out front on Hill, near sideline. Tried to make the handoff to Shelton, couldn't do so. Still hung on to the ball. Hooks it now to Akuche, near side of the floor. Pushes it out front to Ogora with 10 to shoot. Ogora looking to penetrate on Finn's tune. Cannot do so, pass to Allison. Back out to Ogora with five to shoot. He'll now drive down the left of the lane. Throw it up and in and get fouled. 
Daniel Agora with good strength there to maintain possession and finish fouled on the play by Brock Finstoon. Finstoon, the transfer from Pacific, has his first foul. And Daniel Agora with a chance to tie. 6'5", Richard, sophomore from London, England, heads to the line where he is just a 38.5% free throw shooter. Line to the left, first one for him, no good. He's now missed nine straight charity tosses for the Penguins who trail 9-8. In the meantime, Finstune goes to the hole and Allison stripped him and then Finstune had the ball ricochet off his knee and out of bounds. So the Penguins take over with a good job defensively. Finstune thought he was fouled. Looked over at the referee and uh, the referee says, no, nah, the ball's off your knee. Yeah. Finstune comes out obviously frustrated as Trey Gomillion returns for Cleveland State. Less than 13 minutes to go in the opening half. Ogoro has the ball for YSU right wing. Pushes it now to Akuche, back out front to Ogoro. Shelton wants it, he'll cut to the baseline. Ogoro will come to the near sideline with the dribble against Patton. Out front to Rattan Mays near the top of the lane, 10 to shoot. Rattan Mays gives to Akuche, shy of the foul line. Gives to Shelton, far sideline three. That one rimmed out to Torrey Patton of Cleveland State, which maintains a nine to eight advantage. And then Ogoro fouls Patton in the backcourt. Senseless foul by Daniel Ogoro, who rode him just a little bit too hard defensively. Yeah, you just, look, I mean, it's one thing to play some solid defense. You can't ride a guy down the court. You're going to get called for a foul. Gomillion coming back out for Cleveland State. Deontay Johnson returns. For YSU, Owen Long will be inserted into the game for the first time. Long, a 6'1 junior from Sykeston, Missouri. He will spell Chris Shelton. With that, Deshaun Parker will sit down for CSU. Jason Woodrich, a 6'7 sophomore from Beachwood, Ohio, will take his spot. I gotta believe Coach Gates understood Gomillion had two fouls. I was gonna say, you go right at that kid if he's still on the floor with two fouls. I think he needed to give Johnson some, some moments on the bench just to catch his breath. Sure. Johnson takes the feed from Hill in the forecourt. Fakes the handoff to Hodge, now gives to Hill. Left wing looking to drive. Step back, 17-footer for him, rimmed out. No good, ball on the floor. Grabbed by Woodridge of Cleveland State. Got it to Hill, out front to Patton. Patton looking to drive. To the left of the lane, working in on Ogoro. Pumps, turns, goes up and under. Ball hit the rim underneath, but there is Spider Johnson to follow it up with his first basket of the day. And Cleveland State leads 11-8. For 10 Mace, runs by Hill, makes the pass in the corner to Allison. His three's up, on the rim, no good. And a rebound to Woodridge of Cleveland State. Woodridge, a good three-point shooter for the Vikings, working near side against Long. Gets the ball out front to Hill. Senior standing near the center circle. Makes the pass to Johnson with 15 to shoot. Johnson, top of the lane, on Ogoro. Gives to Hill, right wing. Down the right of the lane, on Tan Mays. Bounce pass to the cutting Des Moines Hodge, who scores off the glass. That's a great job by Des Moines Hodge. Cutting to the basket without the ball. Cleveland State now with a five-point lead, its largest advantage of the game so far. Penguins looking to counter. Long off the left baseline, shoots, can't get it to go. Ball rimmed out, and the rebound tapped out to Hill of the Vikings. Gives to Hodge, far sideline. Feeds Johnson in the lane, working on the double team of Okoro and Akuche. Ball comes out to Patton, right wing, pushed up the three. That's not his shot. Two hard off the back of the rim, and the rebound to Rattan Mays of the Penguins. Fires ahead to Okoro. Comes near sideline, bounce to Akuche. Fumble the pass, cannot save it on the baseline, and they say he's the last to touch it. And that's going to take us to a timeout. 10.49 to play in the first half. It's Cleveland State 13, Youngstown State 8. Back with more Horizon League play after this on the Penguin Sports Network.
just joining us here's the game reset brought to you by auto owners insurance and your local independent agent the griffith agency in girard 10 49 to go in the first half Cleveland State has led from the outset, now on top 13 to 8. Youngstown State just 2 of 14 from the field, 1 of 7 from beyond the arc. Cleveland State 6 of 16 from the floor. They've missed their first six three-point attempts of the day. YSU 3 of 5 from the free throw line. CSU 1 of 2. Penguins with five turnovers as compared to four by Cleveland State, which will get the ball off the timeout. Ball comes into Deshaun Parker, who returns to the Vikings lineup. Parker across the timeline, guarded by Rattan Mays. Stops left wing, ball lobbed out front to Deontay Johnson, picked up by Will Dunn. Ball scooped out of Patton at the foul line, Dunn quickly on him defensively. Patton bounced the ball out front to Parker, who outran Rattan Mays to the ball. Parker at the foul line now, got it to Hodge, almost taken away by Cohill. Six to shoot, out front Woodridge from midcourt, let loose with the three, missed it, and the rebound squatted all the way out to Woodridge. Cleveland State with a chance to reset its offense. Woodridge with Long stepping up on him defensively gives the ball to Johnson. Now throws to Hodge, far sideline. 10 to shoot. Hodge in front of the Penguins bench, got it to Johnson. Down the left of the lane on Ogora, five to shoot. Makes the pass to Woodridge, three to shoot. Near sideline for three, left it short, but he's fouled by Owen Long. Twice Cleveland State was bailed out on last second shots to beat the shot clock. On an offensive rebound, second a foul. The infraction against Owen Long, his first. Jason Woodridge will get three free throws for the season, a 64% free throw shooter. Pushed the first one up and in, but he's now five of five against the league this year from a line. And Cleveland State's lead now has reached six. Woodridge again. Second of three. Bouncing around, fell off the rim. Woodridge, like a lot of basketball players, very smart individual. Last spring was placed on Cleveland State's Dean's list. He'll try to make two out of three here as both teams make substitution. Miles Hunter in for Youngstown State to replace Owen Long for Cleveland State. Anderson Marambo, a 6'8 junior from Santo Domingo, Dominican Republic, comes in. Marambo replacing Deontay Johnson. Next free throw for Woodridge is in and out, no good. Missing two of the three, and the Penguins grab the second miss. Down the road, if this is a close game and Woodridge is on the floor, you want to foul him. He's got a hitch in his free throw shot. Now Cohill has the ball for YSU. Makes the pass now to Ogoro near sideline. Left wing, back out front to Cohill. Pushes it back to the Penguins. Ogoro gives to Cohill down the right of the lane. Hooks it up wildly over the basket. I don't know if he was trying to throw that to Will Dunn or not, but he got fouled while taking that attempt. He's got two free throws now as a result of that. Yeah, that was a gamble. It was a big-time gamble on uh, Cohill's part uh, because if the referee doesn't call the foul, that, that looks really ugly. Foul assessed to Deshaun Parker. It places Cohill at the line where he's 2 of 2 today. Cohill, line to the left. Powers that one through. Coming off a 10.5 rebound performance in Friday's loss to Purdue for Wayne. Ends Cleveland State's run of five consecutive points. Cohill again, good again. Continues to stay perfect against the league now, having made all 15 of his free throws this season. Penguins down 14 to 10. He'll drop back defensively. Torrey Patton out front with the ball for the Vikings. Gives to Woodridge. Finds Parker. Lob down low to Marambo. Too tall for him. Taken away by Cohill of Youngstown State. Down the left of the lane against Patton to the basket. Laid it in. Dwayne Cohill now with six. He's been averaging about 12 field goal attempts over the last three games. He's got to start converting more of those like he did there as Patton runs into the forecourt for the Vikings. Knocks Agoro to the ground, and it'll be an offensive foul against Cleveland State. Some momentum for Youngstown State. I'll tell you what, Cohill on that pass. He went off his defender, knew the ball was going to go over the head of the intended receiver, grabbed the ball, went coast to coast for the layup. That starts a chain event where the Penguins now have a little bit of momentum. Marambo and Patton will sit down for Cleveland State for Torrey Patton, his second foul. Hill comes in for the Vikings along with Johnson. Tan Mays in the forecourt with it for the Penguins, working on Hill right of the lane. Gets into the paint, throws up the fadeaway, no good. Rebound, batted away, Will Dunn grabs it, gives to Cohill, near side three, got it! 
Dwayne Cohill was just one of eight from beyond the arc in his last three games, just two of 11 from distance against the league. He's got nine points in the first half, and the Penguins have their first lead of the day at 15-14. And then a takeaway, but the ball won't go out of play as Cohill and Dunn went at it at the same time and couldn't save the ball. Well, Jared Calhoun is looking really, really smart right now, bringing Will Dunn into this ball game. He has been an A-plus spark plug for the Penguins. Right now, why is he in the midst of a 7-0 run to lead for the first time this afternoon? 8.37 to go. Cleveland State will get the ball. Parker will inbound from the far sideline to Deontay Johnson. Done on him. Ball scoop now to Heel Hill. Hands off to Parker. 8.30 to go in the first half. Ball thrown in the corner to Hodge. Three-pointer is short. Rebound Johnson underneath the basket. And he, well, he stepped out of bounds. Yeah, he stepped on the yep. baseline, Rob. And again, there was Will Dunn to contest him as soon as he grabbed that miss. Well, Will Dunn made up for a mistake that he made. He didn't box out very well, but he cleared off the baseline, forcing the, the CSU player to touch that baseline. Penguins up by one in the forecourt with the ball. Ogoro going to work to the left side. Give to Cohill on Parker, left of the lane. Six-footer up, six-footer on the rim, no good. Rebound controlled, though, by Deontay Johnson of Cleveland State. Got it to Hodge ahead to Hill now. Hill into the lane, lost the ball, knocked away by Bertan Mace, grabbed by Dunn to Hunter now. Miles Hunter into the lane, on the run, going to get called and held up. He was uh, sure he wanted to take it to the basket, thought he was going to draw contact. Instead, it's a held ball, and it will give it to Cleveland State when we return. 7.59 to go in the opening half from the Beagley Center. We're You can always read more online at horizonleague.com. 7.59 to go in the opening half. Cleveland State will get the basketball off the held ball, trailing 15 to 14. Deshaun Parker will come up the floor now for the Vikings against Agoro. Pushes it to Des Moines Hodge, far sideline. Hodge goes around the Johnson screen to the left baseline as he goes to the basket. A foul has been called. I'll give it to the Penguins, Will Dunn. So Dunn, a 6'8 sophomore from Quincy, Michigan, has his first foul. Did not play Friday in the game against Purdue Fort Wayne. In the meantime, Cleveland State inserts Chris Green into the game. 6'8 senior out of Newport News, Virginia, replacing Yahil Hill. 
Parker now from the right baseline, lobs the ball out to Green. Makes the catch far sideline, working left wing on Ogoro, goes by the Johnson screen, right wing, inside the three-point line, quickly shoots left and short off the front of him. Rebound comes out to Will Dunn of Youngstown State. Chris Green, scoreless in his last four games, has had missed his last five field goal attempts. They were all threes. I'm sure Dennis Gates didn't want to see him come right in and take his first shot 15 seconds into the game. Rattan Mays in the meantime for three. Got it to go. Rattan Mays from the near side of the floor with a big three for him. Shooting 43% from outside the arc. Penguins third three of the half. They now lead 18 to 14. In the meantime, Deshaun Parker working against Rattan Mays. Turns, got the shot to fall as he went to the baseline from the right of the lane. Ends the Penguins run of nine unanswered points. And Parker with a big advantage in the paint, Rob. 6'4 versus the 5'11 with Rattan Mays. Twice he's gone at him now, and twice it's worked as Rattan Mays goes baseline. Got it to Agoro, finds Cohill out front to a wide open Miles Hunter for three. Bang, bang. Miles Hunter was just two of 18 from beyond the arc in his last 11 games. Only one of nine from outside the arc against the league. He's got a three. The Penguins fourth as they start to heat up, now leading 21 to 16. Ball movement, ball movement, ball movement. Green down the right of the lane against Agoro, stumbled to the basket. Looked like he traveled and was able to hang in there long enough to score his first two. Green now just two of eight from the field against the league, but he is not shy from shooting as Miles Hunter goes baseline after getting a nice feed on the play and then getting fouled while going for the shot attempt. Foul will be given to Jason Woodrich. And with that, Miles Hunter sent to the strike. Hunter line to the left. Hunter averaging five points, three rebounds a game for the Penguins. For the season, a 60% free throw shooter. These are his first charity tosses against the league, and his first one's good. Look at that, Michael Akuche returns for Youngstown State, replacing Will Dunn. For Cleveland State, Woodrich will sit down. As Torrey Hunter is brought in with two fouls. Will Dunn getting a nice round of applause from those behind the YSU bench. Miles Hunter's next charity toss goes in. He now has five points. That's the most he has scored against the league so far this season, exceeding the four he had earlier this year against Oakland. Penguins regain the five-point lead now as we approach six minutes left to play in the half. Patton out front with it for the Vikings. Gives to Deontay Johnson. Fakes the pass to Green, gives to Patton at the foul line. Stops in the lane, turning on Ogoro. Makes the pass out to Green. Green by the patent screen, down the left of the lane, runs in on Ogoro, who fouled him again. So Daniel Ogoro, who's had problems this year in foul trouble, coming in the game, he had more fouls than assists and, combined, and rebounds combined. Ogoro now with two fouls today. Previously against the league, he had 14 fouls and a combined total of seven assists and rebounds. So he's got to cut down on that number as he checks out of the game for the Penguins, giving way to Tevin Ollison. At the line will be Chris Green. He's been busy while checking into the game for the first time. A 67% free throw shooter powers through that first one. Green now with three points. Johnson will sit down for Cleveland State. Mabor Majak, a 7-2 sophomore from South Sudan, will come in for his first tour of duty. Next one for Green, hit the front of the rim and missed. Splits the pair. Youngstown State grabbed the miss. They lead 23 to 19 with the ball. And Rob Cleveland State three of seven from the free throw line here in the first half. Cohill dribbling for Youngstown State makes the pass to an open Akuche against Majak. Forced one up, and the sophomore from the South Sudan comes up with his second block of the season. Patton now with the ball in the forecourt, working on Hunter down the right of the lane, and a foul out front on the YSU sophomore Miles Hunter. So Hunter now with two fouls. So the Penguins and Cleveland State both over the limit here. Free throws for the remaining five and a half minutes of our first half as Des Moines Hodge will check out of Cleveland State's lineup along with Chris Green. Oh, they're going to keep Green on the floor. He's just talking to the coaching staff. Hill replacing Hodge for the Vikings in the meantime. One and one here for Torrey Patton. 73% free throw shooter. 
pushes the first one up off the back of the rim. No good. Rebound to the Penguins. Tevin Allison. Here comes YSU into the forecourt. Up four. Tan Mays out front on Hill at the center circle. Gives to Cohill. Bounce pass to Hunter. Turns. Shoots. Can't get it to fall off the back of the rim. Comes out to Hill of Cleveland State. Throws the ball to the trailer. Patton. Dribbling near sideline. Tried to make a handoff. Taken away by Hunter. Working on Parker to the left end of the floor. Scoops the basketball to Rattan Mays. Scooped it up and in. Shamar Rattan Mays now with five points. The Penguins turn the turnover into points, something they had not been doing as of late. Good look by Hunter. Found Rattan Mays all alone. Less than five to play in the half. Hill from the far sideline. Jacks the three. Missed it off the back of the rim. Rebound off the hands of Green. Went to Hill. Clears the ball to Parker. Whips it down low to Majok. Right of the lane. Hooked it up. Left it short. Rebound grabbed by Hunter of YSU. Clears to Allison. Up the far sideline. Cuts to the middle of the floor. Continues to the near side. Finds Rattan Mays. Penguins on top by six. Their largest lead of the afternoon. Allison alone. Near corner three. Got it. Devin Allison has now made a three in five straight games. His first field goal forces Cleveland State to take a timeout with 4.15 to go in the first half. We'll step aside from the Bigley Center. Possession arrow points in favor of Youngstown State. Cleveland State, though, will get the ball as play resumes. Penguins right now in the midst of a 20-5 run, having grabbed this nine-point lead. Parker gives the ball to Hill, dribbling left wing. Got it to Parker near side of the floor. Throws back to Hill to the left side. Can't get off a shot just yet. Penguins try to trap it, force the turnover. Ball on the floor. Majok trying to get it for Cleveland State. Pushed his man out of the way and commits the foul. Mabor, Mabor Majok with his first foul of the day, and that will lead to free throws for the Penguins. Well, Youngstown State employing a very active 1-3-1 zone defense right there. That's the first time I've seen it th in this home season, Rob. And that free throw to be attempted by Tevin Allison could help Youngstown State reach a double-figure lead. Allison with four points so far, coming off a three that he just made, and he nails the front end of the one and one. Allison now with five points and a half, two of three from the strike. Penguin leading by ten. In the meantime, Jason Woodridge returns for Cleveland State. Mabor Bajak will sit down. Allison again line to the left. Next free throw, straight through. Made them both. Penguins lead 30 to 19 with under four minutes to go now in our first half of play. Now 
out front to Sean Parker, gives the ball to Woodridge, far sideline. Greens in, makes the catch middle of the floor on Akuche. Ball thrown to Hill, now right wing. Out front to Torrey Patton, gets by the screen. He'll drive into the lane on the run, scoops it up, two it off the glass, rebound to Green. And as he is falling to the floor, an official's whistle here. Miles Hunter was on the court. I think they've got him for the foul, and they do. Nothing he could do about that. Still, it's his third foul now, and Miles Hunter is going to have to come out of the game. Daniel Lagoro waiting to check in for Youngstown State. Now the Penguins have some potential issues because Ogoro coming back into the game has two fouls. Chris Green in the meantime sent to the free throw line where he's one of two today. Green again coming in, averaging only three points a game to go with one rebound to contest. In the two games last year against Cleveland State or against Youngstown State, he averaged six and a half points as he misfires on yet another free throw. And a rebound to the Penguins, who are up 11, having scored seven straight points. Tan Mays in the forecourt now. As we approach three minutes left to play in the first half. Tan Mays near side of the floor. Chased by Hill, gives to Akuche. Trying to make the pass to a cutting co. Hill batted into the air by Green, and he pulls it down for the Vikings. Gives to Woodridge. Dribbling left wing, trying to get open for a three, pushes the ball to Hill instead. Near side of the floor, guarded by Rattan Mays, ball lobbed to Green. Near side on Hill, Cohill, Green knocked him to the floor and commits the charge. Dwayne Cohill stood his ground, he got the brunt of that contact, but was able to draw the turnover as Chris Green has called for the charge, his first foul of the afternoon. Yeah, there's no Academy Award winning performance there. That was a legit, he got knocked to the ground and he got knocked down hard, Rob. Now Johnson, Finstoon, Hodge, all checking in now for Cleveland State. Patton will come out, Green will check out, Woodridge will go to the Vikings bench. 3-0-3 to play in the first half. YSU leading 30 to 19 with the ball. Pass comes into Rattan Mays. Hill will back off defensively, backpedaling into the forecourt. Rattan Mays near side of the floor gives to Akuche. Swings the pass to Cohill, far sideline. Cohill finds an open Allison. Right side, mid-range jumper, can't get it to fall. A rebound controlled by Brock Finstoon of Cleveland State. Throws ahead to Hodge, near sideline to the right wing. Makes the pass down a hill, right baseline. Underneath the basket, goes up strong, can't get his rudder to fall. Rebound comes out to Cohill of YSU. Heads to the left end of the floor through traffic. Makes the pass now to Allison, but he can't flag it down, and it's off his hands and out of bounds. And Cohill really disgusted with himself because he had a wide open player on the baseline. They were going to take another three from that baseline, and he threw the ball out of bounds. Two and a half to play before the break. Yeah, Hill Hill coming up the floor now. Transfer from Tallahassee Community College in Florida. Hill stopped middle of the floor, gives the ball to Deontay Johnson. Working left wing. Makes the handoff now to Hill. They play a little bit of peekaboo here. Hill, left of the lane, six-footer up, left it short, but was fouled in the process by Shamar Rattan Mays. That'll be his first of the day. Free throws coming for Yahil Hill. He's got two on his way. Fights two against Rattan Mays. Nonetheless, Hill steps to the line. Hill, a 77% free throw shooter for Cleveland State. 71% against the league, buries that first one. That's his first point today. Had 12 points and one assist in the win Friday at Robert Morris. Hill again, line to the right, that one's on the money. Two big free throws for the Vikings. Stops the Penguins run of seven unanswered points. And Cleveland State trails 30-21. Penguins find Akuche in the far corner. He'll dribble to the foul line, pass it out to Dwayne Cohill. By Akuche. Cohill on the three-point line, gives the ball to Allison near sideline. Step back for three, good! Tevin Allison, second three. He now has nine first-half points, and YSU's lead goes to 33-21. Under two minutes to play in the first half, Deshaun Parker down the right of the lane, bumped and fouled on his way to the basket by Tevin Allison. That will stop play. As Allison has his first foul of the day, he fouled out of the game Friday against Purdue-Fort Wayne. This infraction will now place Deshaun Parker back at the line where he's one of two this afternoon. Parker with seven points overall. Well, one of the 
one of the things the Penguins are going to definitely have to do at halftime is adjust to what the officials have been calling a lot of touchy fouls. So make the adjustment at halftime. Parker makes the first one, looking for his ninth point of the game now. He's got it, making them both. His best game against the league so far has been against Wright State when he had 10 points. Gets his team to within 10 here. Coming up on a minute and a half left before the break. Rattan Mays at midcourt. Gets by Hill along the far sideline. Through traffic to the basket. Going to scoop it up and in himself. Shamar Rattan Mays with seven points. YSU gets the lead back to a dozen. Into the forecourt now. Finn's tune. It's by the Johnson screen of the foul line. 15 footer for Hems off to the left. No good. Rebound. Hodge turns, shoots, and scores off the glass. Demoy Hodge with four points. And Dwayne Cohill slow to his feet here. I think Cohill got smacked in the nose on the offensive rebound here. Now you got on the way back up. Yeah. Hodge was trying to go back up after grabbing that rebound. So Cohill's going to stay on the floor. 114 to play here in the half. YSU leading 35 to 25. Leave us taking to pick up some pressure now. Rattan Mays up the floor, shadowed by Parker and Hill, gives it to Akuche far sideline. Back out front to Rattan Mays. 20 to shoot for the Penguins. A minute left in the first half. Rattan Mays, center of the floor, walks to the near side. Leave us taking a 2 3 zone. Rattan Mays with 10 to shoot. Gives the ball to Cohill right wing. Back to Rattan Mays. Picked up by Parker. Five to shoot. Ball thrown to Akuche. In the lane. Going to kick it out to Ogoro. Got a hurry. Ogoro tried to push it up before the shot clock expired and could not do so. Cleveland State zone gives Youngstown State problems. And now the Vikings get it with 43.7 seconds to go before the half. This is a big series right now of these legs. 40 seconds to see who grabs the momentum going into the locker room. Parker with it for Cleveland State out front. Hands off to Finn's tune. Runs into Agoro. Throws up to runner. Left it short. Got his own miss. Pushed it back up. Left it short again. And then the ball grabbed by Allison. He tried to save it, but his pass hit underneath the backboard, and the ball will be handed back to Cleveland State. They'll put 20 on the shot clock. 26.6 seconds to go in the first half. Vikings have the ball down 10. Sean Parker will throw it in play from the right baseline. Parker lobs it into Finn's tune. Makes the bounce pass now to Hodge. Alley-oop to Deontay Johnson who catches and scores off the glass. Deontay Johnson with four. Penguins have that use it or lose it to take and they took it right there. They have 17 and a half seconds to work with here as YSU tries to get the lead back to double figures before the break. Rob, the way they've been playing and shooting the three from about the nine-minute mark into right now, I would start setting up, and all likely a Tevin Allison because he has two threes, I would start setting up an offense where Allison works through multiple screens and gets himself open for a last-second three to end the first half. Right now, Youngstown State, 10 of 27 from the field for 37%, but they've made six threes so far in the contest. They've converted on 9 of 11 from the free throw line. Cleveland State, 10 of 30 from the floor, but they have missed all nine of their three-point attempts and have converted on just 7 of 13 from the free throw line. Vikings with 11 turnovers as compared to nine thus far for YSU. That was one of the keys to victory that we talked about before the game for the Penguins. They had to win the turnover margin, and so far they're a plus two. All right, Tevin Allison will inbound the ball from the right baseline. He's hit two threes so far for the Penguins. Ball comes into Rattan Mays, back to Allison. Throws to Cohill, still in the backcourt. Bounce to Allison. Fires ahead to Rattan Mays, who brings it into the forecourt. Ten seconds to go in the half. Ball fed back to Cohill. Eight seconds to go. Cohill near side of the floor. Looking at a zone. Five seconds to shoot. To Akuche near sideline. Going to elevate for three. No good off the back of the rim. Rebound to Hodge. And that is the end of the first half. Well, YSU led by as many as 12 points in the first half. They'll settle for an eight-point halftime advantage here at the Bigley Center. Through 20 minutes of play in today's Horizon League showdown, it is Youngstown State 35 and Cleveland State 27. When we return, it's the Halftime Report on the Penguins Sports Network. So at AT&T, everyone gets our best deals. Aren't others doing that? 
others say that, but not everyone gets the best deal. Like, what if I give you a lollipop? Then I give you our best lollipop.
12, and their biggest scoring run was 10. The Penguins started out YSU trying to hand Cleveland State its first league loss of the season and bounce back from that loss on Friday. For the Vikings, they're trying to stay perfect in Horizon League play and set up a showdown on Thursday, January 13th at home against Oakland. After today, the Vikings will return to the Wolstein Center to begin a four-game homestand, and it will uh, get off in earnest against the Golden Grizzlies, who are also undefeated in league play. All right, to start the second half, wise you will have Shamar Rattan Mays, Dwayne Cohill, Miles Hunter, Tevin Allison, Michael Acuche. Wise you traveling left to right to start the second half, will have the basketball. For Cleveland State, it is Deshaun Parker, Tory Patton, Deontay Johnson, Demoy Hodge, and Trey Gomillion. Rattan Mays into the forecourt against Parker. Throws the ball near sideline to Cohill. Goes baseline. Eight-footer goes up and in for Dwayne Cohill, who scored all ten of his points Friday in the first half against Fort Wayne and did not score the rest of the way. Had nine points in the first half today, but now reaches double figures for the eighth time this season, now with 11 points. 
Cleveland State's first possession of the second half. They go into Gomillion, right of the lane, against Allison. Turn, shoots, forced it up and in off the glass. Trey Gomillion was shut out in the first half. He came in averaging just under 10 points a game for Cleveland State this season, but 15 against the league. Gets his team's deficit back to single figures. Akuche out front now with it for Youngstown State. Dribbling to the near side of the floor. Throws to Cohill sideline. Cohill picked up by Hodge. Works to the foul line, into the lane. Makes the pass out to Rattan Mays. Left wing three. Bounced off the rim, no good. Rebound underneath on the floor. Hunter grabs it for the Penguins. Cleveland State trying to tie him up, and they do so, and they'll get the ball. Possession arrow pointing in favor of CSU. Played roughly one minute of the second half, and they traded basket so far. That's a good look by uh, Shamar Rattan Mays. Uh, obviously, you ought to hit those shots, but that was a solid look. Gomillion with the ball for Cleveland State, far sideline. He is their catalyst. Throws the ball to Hodge, gives to Parker near sideline. Out to Hodge, top of the lane. He can get hot quick, three-pointer up and in. Demoy Hodge now with seven points. Last year against YSU, he was only two of eight from beyond the arc. Cleveland State now trails 37 to 32. They can strike back quickly. Hodge has that ability, his first three of the day. Penguins looking to counter now. Cohill left wing on Gomillion down the left of the lane. Stops, going to force up the short jumper and score. Tevin Allison in double figures now for the 11th time this season. He has now scored double figures in all six Horizon League games this year for Youngstown State. 11 points today for the transfer out of the Cumberlands. Vikings back the other way now, inside. Deontay Johnson after the pump bait goes in and scores and then gets fouled on the play by Michael Akuche of YSU who just picked up his second. Day Johnson now with six points. He'll be sent to the line for the first time this afternoon. 6'9", senior out of Detroit. is a 71% free throw shooter. Well, Johnson did a really nice job getting behind Michael Akuche. Once he got the ball, it was easy pickings. Missed the free throw, though, and the rebound tapped all the way down the floor where Torrey Patton will run it down for the Vikings. But now I think they may rule. Is it over and back here? No, they're going to keep it with Cleveland State shot clock. Yeah, that's what it was. A shot clock stop play there. I was, was going to say, I thought he could run down the floor and grab that tip, and he did. So Cleveland State has the ball. Two minutes into the second half, they trail by five. Gomillion out front on Allison. Gives to Hodge. Finds Parker near sideline. Parker goes by the Johnson screen. He got the pass in the pick and roll and hammers in two. Deontay Johnson now with eight. Cleveland State has come out with a much different look. They trailed 39 to 36 after they had trailed by 12 in the first half. Tan Mays now out front with it. Vikings going to settle into a zone. Ball thrown to Cohill, far sideline. Back out to Tan Mays. By Akuche screen, he gets the pass. Standing right wing. One dribble. Feeds to Rattan Mays, left wing, eight to shoot. Rattan Mays finds Hunter open, right wing, 4-3. That's going to be an air ball grabbed by Akuche, who hits the reverse side layup. Michael Akuche with his first two points of the day for the Penguins, who now lead 41-36. Now the Penguins are going to have to uh, do some adjusting on the fly defensively. Hodge far sideline again for three, good again. Demoy Hodge now in double figures for the 11th time this season. In his last two games, he was only one of seven from beyond the arc, but you can see how quickly he can get it rolling. His second three here in this half. Cleveland State now trails 41 to 39. See if the Penguins can counter. Cohill to the left of the lane. Stopped mid-range jumper, floated it in. Cohill now with 13 points. His best game against the league came at Green Bay when he rang up 15. Penguins lead goes to four. 16 and a half minutes to play in the contest. Patton in the forecourt gives to Hodge of Cleveland State. Cohill knocked the ball loose and out of bounds. Rob, I would have put a little bit of pressure in the backcourt, forced Cleveland State to spend a little time in the backcourt, cut some time off of that 30-second shot clock. All right, Parker will inbound from the far sideline. Gets it into Deontay Johnson. Right back to Parker. Working out front, 15 on the shot clock. Ball pushed to Johnson, right wing, bounce to Gomillion, right of the lane. Gomillion backing in on Allison, pump fakes, takes the short shot, no good off the back of the rim, rebound, tapped out by Allison, but right to Hodge, open for three, that one rimmed out, then the fight for the rebound leads to a foul against Cleveland State. They're going to give
give it to Trey Gomillion, and that's his third. So Gomillion trying to get on track in this game, limited because of foul trouble, talking to the official why he picked up his third. Well, that was just an outstanding job of boxing out by the Penguins. We made mention of this in the first half. One of the things the Penguins do exceptionally well, they box out on the glass. Ball comes into Ollis, and Cleveland State trying to pick up pressure. Pass to Retamez, gives to Cohill, fires up the floor to Ollison in the forecourt. Gives to Hunter, far sideline, back to Ollison. Finds Rattan Mays. Hooks to Ollison, far sideline. Won't shoot the three, make the bounce pass to Hunter instead. He feeds to Akuche at the foul line. In on Johnson. Tried to throw to the cutting Cohill, who had the ball knock off his wrist and out of play. Now Cohill got hit in the lower uh, cut region. Well, it'll take us to a timeout. 15.44 to play in the game. It is Youngstown State 43. Cleveland State third. It'll be a busy week next week here at the Beagley Center. The YSU men have a pair of games at home, so do the YSU women. The guys will play host to Wright State next Saturday at 7 o'clock. Prior to the game, there will be a rummage sale on the upper deck of Beagley starting at 6. It will feature official team merchandise, including game-worn uniforms, warm-ups, T-shirts, and more. To get tickets to next week's four games in four days, just call 330-9941-1978, or you can go online to ysusports.com. Off the time out, Cleveland State will have the ball trailing 43-39. Less than 16 minutes left to play in the game here from Big League. Torrey Patton out front with it for the Vikings. Gives to Des Moines Hodge, who's hit a couple of threes. Pass to Trey Gomillion, who finds Patton far sideline. Tries to get to the baseline, but will work to the right of the lane instead against Hunter. Turns, hooks one up, bounced across the basket. Rebound, fought for by Akuche and Johnson, who went over the Penguins' fifth-year seniors back. Deontay Johnson with his second personal foul for Cleveland State. Team foul number two here in the half. And the ball will be given to Youngstown State. Yet another perfect example of what happens when you box out. You can't go over the back, and that's exactly what CSU did. Rattan Mays working up the floor. Through the center circle on Parker, in the lane, finds Hunter near sideline. Hunter feeds to Ogoro, who's come in for Cohill. Pass to Allison now, back to Ogoro, right wing. Deals to Allison, left wing, long three. Hit the front of the rim, no good. Rebound tapped out of play by Miles Hunter of Youngstown State. Knocked it away from Trey Gomillion. So the Vikings get the ball back down four. Sean Parker will come into the forecourt now. Parker, center circle. Lobs to Hunter. Or lobs to Patton on Hunter. Patton by the screen of Johnson down the right of the lane. Gets underneath the basket where he's fouled. 
We'll give that to Michael Akuche. Yep. And that's his third. He's got to be careful. That's a great job by CSU. They knew that the switch was going to take place because of the pick that was set up by the foul line, and they went right at Akuche. So Parker inbounds to go million, fumbled it, got it back in the lane. Fadeaway jumper's perfect. Trey Gomillion now with four points. He didn't score in the first half. That was lacking for the Vikings, who now trail by only two at 43 to 41. Martin Mays in the meantime slicing through the double team and gets fouled out front as he got by both Parker and Hodge, and it's Parker who fouls him. So the transfer out of Appalachian State has his second personal foul. Three now against the Vikings in the half. 14.34 to go in the game. Youngstown State will inbound from the near sideline up two. First, though, Jason Woodridge will check in for Cleveland State, and Trey Gomillion will sit down. You know, I'm real surprised, Rob. Both teams have not made the adjustment. These officials are calling the game extremely tight. You have to make the adjustment. Rattan Mays takes the inbounds pass. Left wing by Hunter. Fires to Ogoro. Back out front to Rattan Mays. And then on Cleveland State zone, he'll jack for the long three and nail it! Rattan Mays with his second three, and that one from Link. He's in double figures now for the seventh time this season. Prior to today, he'd only been in double figures in one out of the last eight games as Cleveland State makes the Penguins pay for not getting back as Deontay Johnson easily gets inside to ring up two quick ones on a dunk, putting him in double figures for the sixth time now with ten points. Uh, blown coverage by the Penguins defensively. Why is he trying to answer? Now leading by three. Akuche, far side of the floor, working left baseline. Underneath the basket, got it to Ogoro, near corner three. Bang, bang. Daniel Agora with a three. He was only one of eight from beyond the arc in his last five games. YSU with its second three here in the half. And then on the drive, a foul ensues. Now Cleveland State can get it up the floor quick. 13.40 to play in the contest. I think they're going to get Miles Hunter, and that's going to be his fourth foul, Rob. Yep, that's it. You're exactly right. So Hunter now with four. Dwayne Cohill will come in to take his spot for YSU. In the meantime, Torrey Patton will come out of Cleveland State's lineup. Gomillion comes back in, takes the inbounds pass against Agoro, left of lane. Spins trying to go up and under, scooped it up and in. Nice move by Gomillion to turn around Ogoro. Gomillion now with six for Cleveland State, which trails 49-45. That was a solid up and under. Rattan Mays down the right of the lane, throws up his runner, tried to bank it in, could not do so, but drew contact and the foul. And you're right, the parade continues. The foul against Deshaun Parker, his third. So Shamar Rattan Mays will go to the line. He's got 10 points today. Came in averaging seven and a half a game to go at two rebounds a contest. Last year against Cleveland State, he averaged 14 points and three assists in the two meetings. First trip to the line for Rattan Mays. Free throw for him is good. Honestly, Rob, it, if I'm YSU, I'm going to push the level up a little bit and have Rattan Mays take the ball to the basket. By doing so, he's going to draw a contact. And the way the officials are calling this game, he's going to live at the free throw line the rest of the day. He's a 79.5% free throw shooter. Makes them both. Has now converted 17 consecutive free throws for Youngstown State, which leads 51 to 45. Coming up on 13 minutes left to play now. Deontay Johnson out front with it for Cleveland State. Gets the ball to Parker in the lane against Rattan Mays. Pump fakes, draws a double team. Feed to Johnson. He pumps, shoots, and scores and draws the foul. So Deontay Johnson having a really good start to the second half. Now with 12 points overall, eight of them coming here in the first seven minutes of the half. Oh, boy. Michael so just picked on, up his yep, fourth. It's on Akuche. Will Dunn's going to come in for the Penguins to replace Akuche, who will go to the bench with two points and four fouls. Akuche still needs six points to reach 1,000 in his career. In the meantime, Deshaun Parker will get a breather for Cleveland State. They'll bring in Yahil Hill. Johnson misses the free throw. Rebound to Tevin Allison for YSU. Penguins leading 51-47. Dwayne Cohill in the forecourt gives to Rattan Mays. Pushes it to Cohill. Makes the pass, now to Ogoro, far sideline, bounce to Allison, left of the lane. Allison, fadeaway 13-footer, no good. Rebound knocked out of play. Last touch by Cleveland State. Will Dunn did a good job to disrupt that. The Penguins maintain possession. 
Torrey Patton coming right back in, though, for Cleveland State. Well, Rob, I'm going to tell you right now, this next few minutes, when uh, uh, Akuche comes back into the game, these next few minutes are going to be the biggest few minutes in Will Dunn's career at YSU. Cohill inbounds to Dunn, left of the lane, into traffic. Looked at a shot, then decided to pick the ball up. Now pushes it up, left it short, thought he got fouled. Rebound to Woolridge, Woodridge of Cleveland State. To Patton, in on Dunn, scooped it up. Shot's good off the glass. And Torrey Patton with his first two points of the second half. Penguins come right back down the floor. Cohill on the pass down the floor. Clears to Agoro, got it to Rattan May's right wing. Looks at a three, but won't shoot it. Instead, drive on Hill to the left of the lane. Got his man in the air. Turnaround jumper, good. Shamar Rattan Mays now with 14 points. He's picked up the slack. Luke Chacon unable to play today because of a hand injury. And Rattan Mays has answered the call. Why is you leading 53 to 49? Patton left of the lane on Ogoro. Trying to muscle one up. Took the shot. Ogoro partially blocked it, but also committed the foul. Daniel Ogoro with three now. Stops play with 12.04 to go. And this may be a war of attrition, Ron. Who's got who's got the better depth? Well, at right now, Cleveland State's doing exactly what I said that R Shamar Rattan Mays should do. Just take the ball to the basket, draw the foul, and live at the free throw line. Patton nails his first one. Now one of two from the line today. Seven points overall. Transfer out of Akron. As his team to within three. Patton again, line to the left. Made them both. Cleveland State trails 53 to 51. They'll pick up pressure here as well. They try to trap for Tanmaze, who throws the ball to Dwayne Cohill. Coming up the floor against Des Moines Hodge through the center circle. Cohill trying to figure out who to get it to. He'll drive on Hodge down the left of the lane, right to the basket, scooped it up, no good, but got fouled in there. Is what you're talking about, Ron? Cohill sized up the defense, made the drive, drew the foul. We'll take it to a break. He's got free throws coming when we return. It is Youngstown State 53. Cle Independent agent, Jem Young Insurance at Canfield. 11.46 to go in the game. Youngstown State 53, Cleveland State 51. Both teams still with three timeouts left. Both teams with five fouls. Possession arrow in favor of YSU as Dwayne Cohill steps to the line off the timeout and bounces in his first free throw here. He's now five of five from the line. Today has 14 points overall. Cohill trying to match his horizontally high in scoring this season. 
Next one goes up, that one goes in. He's got 15 today, matching what he scored in the win at Green Bay back in December. YSU on top, 55 to 51. All right, Hillen to the forecourt with it for the Vikings. Gives to Patton, far sideline, fires it into Gomillion. Catch, shoot, shot, blocked by Cohill. Grabs it for YSU, working through traffic into the forecourt. Lost the dribble, goes back to get it. Hodge quickly on him, but now he'll back off. 11 and a half minutes to go in the game. Cohill out front, middle of the floor, to the left wing, tried to drive nothing there. Wanted to make a pass to Dunn and tried to pull it back, got called for the double dribble. Boy, Demoy Hodge was the guy that was responsible for that. He jumped right into the passing lane and got Cohill to double dribble. All right, Hill into the forecourt, gives to Patton. We approach 11 minutes left to play in the game. Pass to Hodge, out front to Gomillion. Far side of the floor, motioning for Patton to cut away. Gomillion right wing to the foul line, turning on Will Dunn, turning again, throws it up, banked it in again. He's really good at that. Trey Gomillion with eight points now for Cleveland State which trails 55 to 53. Now Gomillion has a solid up and under move. Plenty of moves by that young man. All right, Cohill out front directing YSU's offense. Scoops the ball to Rattan Mays. Working in on that zone, pass to Ogoro, back out to Mays. Middle of the floor, fakes the three on Hodge. Heads to the foul line. Stops, finds Will Dunn left wing. Dunn pushes the ball to Allison, left of the lane. Got himself set, takes the shot. Partially blocked by Johnson. And then Allison grabbed him and committed the foul out of frustration. So the foul on Allison, his second. One more against Youngstown State, and they go over the limit. 10-27 to play in the game. Cleveland State gets the ball down two. We were only tied once in the first half at six. Cleveland State's last lead came in 14 to 12. All right, Patton out front with the ball on Allison as we approach the midway point of the second half. Patton out front. Allison riding it pretty good down the right of the lane to the basket. Allison tried to strip it and could not do so. Instead called for the foul. So Allison now with three and the Penguins are over the limit. Allison saying that Patton hooking him. Just giving the official the heads up here. Tory Patton will go to the line where he's two of three today. Patton with eight points overall. Patton has scored double figures in four straight games for Cleveland State, eight times overall. Patton on two charity tosses here, trying to get to double figures. Pushes the first one up, in and out, no good. Rob, this is where Cleveland State struggles, just 68% as a team near the bottom of the Horizon League. If there's a kryptonite, this is it. They're two of five as a team from the line in the second half. Patton's next one to split the pair is good. So he's got nine points. Cleveland State to within one. Penguin's going to work up the floor. Wayne Cohill gives to Rattan Mays into the forecourt. Near side, right wing, open three. Bang, bang. Shamir Rattan Mays with his third three. That's a new single game high for him. He's got himself 17 points. That's a new single game high. Earlier this year, he had scored 15 twice. But that three is then followed by an official's whistle. Uh, you got to reset the 30-second the, uh, clock. It was at 17. They got to move it to 27. For Tan Mays with that field goal, elevates YSU's lead now to four. 9.50 to play in the game. Johnson takes the inbounds pass. Scoops it to Hodge, left wing. He can shoot the three and doesn't bury it. Demoy Hodge answers with his third three. He's made as many as four in a game, and he's got himself 13 points for Cleveland State. Penguins looking to answer. Agoro for three. Good from the far sideline. Agoro's second three. Third time this year he has hit two in a game. Eight points for Agoro as we trade threes now. In the forecourt, Hill with it. Top of the lane, down the left of the lane. On Will Dunn, Hill underneath the basket. No reverse layup. Almost dribbled the ball off his foot, but it went off of the Penguins instead. 9-17 to go in the contest. Fifteen to shoot for Cleveland State. Hill from the left baseline. Lobs it out to Torrey Patton, right wing. Inside the three-point line. Try to drive on Allison. Into the lane, turning. Still turning. Forced up the 13-footer. No good. Rebound Rattan Mays of Youngstown State. Clears to Dwayne Cohill. Nine minutes to play in the game. 
Penguins with a two possession advantage right now. Tan Mays in the forecourt. Hodge shadowing him. Tan Mays works to the near sideline now, picked up by Patton. For Tan Mays, right baseline, underneath the basket, whips the ball to Allison, saves it out in front. Cohill couldn't get it away from Hodge. Bad pass leads to a breakout. Hill to the hoop. Goes in against Ogoro, who fouled him, but Hill could not make the lay-in. He'll just have two free throws instead. Daniel Ogoro now with four fouls. Ogoro looking to set his feet real quick to try to get an offensive foul. Not even close to getting those feet set. Now we're going to get Shelton back into the game for the Penguins. Ogoro, Hunter, and Akuche each with four fouls apiece for YSU as Ogoro there called for the block. It will place Hill at the line where he's two of two today. The only scoring he's done is his free throw here is in and out, no good. So Jason Woodridge will check in for Cleveland State, spelling Tory Patton. Chris Shelton into the game for YSU, as Ron had mentioned, for Daniel Ogoro. CSU unofficially 50% from the free throw line. If they lose this game, Rob, this is going to be the reason why. Next one for Hill is on the money. Splits the pair, gives him three points in the game. Cleveland State down 61 to 58. Penguins working up the floor with Tan Mays chased by Hill and Hodge. Throws the ball back to Cohill, comes across the timeline. Eight and a half minutes to go in the game. This one's going to the wire. Cohill gives to Allison by the done screen. Allison down the right of the lane on the run against Hodge. Scooped it up. No good. Tap no. And the rebound to Johnson. Gives to Hodge of Cleveland State. Throws it ahead to Hill. Makes the catch to the basket. Laid it in. Yahil Hill now with five points. And Cleveland State has gotten back to within one again. 8 12 to go in the contest. Timeout on the floor. We'll step aside. It is Youngstown State 61, Cleveland State. The Horizon League Basketball Championships return to the Indiana Farmers Coliseum in Indianapolis on March 7th and 8th. Tickets for the semifinals and championship games start at just $10. Go online to horizonleague.com slash indie to secure your seats today. These two teams hoping to get to the Final Four. Both are good enough to make it to the semis and possibly the championship game. And we're going down to the wire here from Bigley. Eight minutes left to go. Youngstown State will have the ball, leading Cleveland State 61 to 60. There's plenty of teams that are going to make a really serious run in the Horizon Tournament. All right, Dwayne Cohill will come up the floor as Cleveland State drops back defensively. Ball scooped to Shamara Tenmay. He's got it to Cohill. 
Go. He'll look at the run down the right lane. Stops alone. Going to scoop one up off the back of the rim. A little too hard. Tap. No good. Ball batted around. Johnson grabs it for Cleveland State. Clears to Hill. Hill going to throw it down the floor to Johnson. Got the ball to Gomillion, who had a tough shot. Actually, the pass went to Hodge, who got it to Gomillion, and his attempt was batted out of play. That's going to take us to a timeout. 7.49 left to play in the game. We'll step aside again from the Beagley Center with our score. Youngstown State 61, Cleveland State 60. This is Horizon League play on the Penguin Sports Network. Indianapolis, the heart of college basketball. And each March, home to the Horizon League men's and women's basketball championships. Eight teams look to reach the horizon and punch their tickets to the NCAA tournament at the Indiana Farmers Coliseum. Semifinal action takes place Monday, March 7th, and Horizon League champions are crowned Tuesday, March 8th. Visit horizonleague.com slash indy for more information and to score your tickets today. How come we're always saying no to the stuff we really love? At Panera, we say it's time. Time to say yes to the good stuff. Yes to Habsies. Yes to doing it your way. Yes to stretchies. Yes to rolling with it. Yes to wins. Yes to taking the plunge. Yes to this. And this. And this. And definitely this. And yes to more bread. Always more bread. Panera, live your yes. Now $1 delivery. Ideas are nothing. Until we make them real. Even the best ideas take passion, perseverance, and determination. Everything we've ever done is nothing compared to what we imagine for the future. Honor. Living with joint pain isn't easy, but lately dealing with it has felt even harder. So you've been putting up with it. That stops today. Today you stand up for yourself and... Cleveland State to inbound the basketball from the left baseline. 7.49 to go. Vikings trail 61 to 60. They have not led since they were up 14 to 12 back in the first half. Hill from the left baseline. Throws into Gomillion. Near sideline against Allison. Pushes the ball to Hodge off the screen. Shoots but missed. Rebound will done. But Johnson went over him. Knocked it out to Hodge. He runs down the right of the lane. Shoots and scores off the glass. Moy Hodge now with 15 points. Cleveland State has the lead at 62 to 61. Seven and a half to play in the contest now. Penguins trying to answer. Rattan Mays picked up his dribble. Gives to Cohill at the center circle. 15 to shoot. Cohill against Hodge. Cohill bounced the ball to Will Dunn right wing. Dunn looking to drive. Spins into the lane. Going to force one up. On the rim and in. Will Dunn. Who had played eight minutes at Oakland. That was the most he had played in any one game against a Division I opponent up until today. He's got his first two with some timely minutes. And the Penguins get the lead back at 63-62. Under seven minutes to play now. Woodridge out front with it for Cleveland State. Gets it to Gomillion. Finds Hill near sideline. Top side Gomillion. He'll run down the right of the lane. Got ahead of steam, but he can't get the runner. Went off the glass and off the rim. And the rebound to Allison of YSU. Gives to Rattan Mays, who hustles into the forecourt, working on Woodridge into the near sideline. Finds Dunn. Throws topside, not a Cohill. 20 to shoot for YSU. 6.30 to go in the game. Penguins have the lead back by one. Cohill bounced to Dunn inside. Ran over. Nope, didn't run over. Jason Woodridge tried to draw the charge. Dunn leaned into him, and Woodridge fouled him. Jason Woodridge with his second. And he's wanting to get an explanation on that call. Cleveland State, team foul number six. Penguins will inbound from the right baseline, still leading 63 to 62. Cohill, gotta hurry to throw it in. Bad pass, intended for Shelton, hits me in the right arm. That's not where you want the ball to be. I was thinking the ball was gonna go closer to the tie line. <laughs> <laughs> Could have knocked us off the air. Boy, you're not kidding. Thank goodness I had the right arm free. 
about Michael Orto would jump in front and pick that thing off. Now Mike is sitting here going, that's nah, all you, Rob, it's all you. All right, Cleveland State trying to take advantage now. Hill, middle of the floor, lobs the ball at Deontay Johnson, right wing. Fakes the handoff to Hill. Dunn steps up on Johnson. Ball given to Hill. They try to run the pick and roll. Hill into the lane now. Got by Dunn. Scooped it up. Off the glass too hard. Rebound on the floor. Grab by Dunn of Youngstown State. Penguins control the ball, leading by one. And Will Dunn altered that shot. Robin was able to get the rebound. Cohill gives to Shelton. Bounce to Dunn. Now right baseline. Dunn. Working on Deontay Johnson, makes the pass out to Cohill, who cut towards him. The ball goes over his head into the backcourt, and the Penguins turn it over. And Will Dunn's not played a lot this season, so they don't know how to read one another as well as they may. Yeah, he thought he was going to get uh, Cohill in the front court. Cohill was taken off toward the basket. So Cleveland State still trailing, 63-62. to We'll get the ball. Near sideline, Hill throws it at Deontay Johnson. Out at Des Moines, Hodge, 15 to shoot. Ball thrown to Hill, right wing by Hodge, top of the lane. Hill looking for Gomillion, but he'll throw to Johnson instead. Johnson left of the lane, eight to shoot. Scoops the ball to Gomillion, left of the lane. Drums the alley-oop, catch by Johnson. Wasn't clean, he lost the ball, but got fouled on the shot attempt. Now Cohill gets the foul. I'm impressed with Cohill's pops. Boy, he jumped high in the air to make sure that that alley-oop wasn't going to get uh, thrown down. So Deontay Johnson, who's really good at that, will now go to the free throw line. Johnson, the senior out of Detroit, 12 points today, but he's 0 of 2 from the free throw line. 5.30 to play in the game. His first of two here, however, is perfect. Deontay Johnson's best game of the season came against Northern Kentucky last month when he had 14 points. Best game in his career against Detroit Mercy, where he rang up 15. Deontay Johnson trying to tie a single game high this season with this free throw. He has tied the game at 63 and given his team 64 to 63 lead on the strength of two made free throws. And he now has 14 points as Rattan Mays comes up the floor against Hodge, gives to Allison on the forecourt back to Rattan Mays. Penguins down one here. Rattan Mays near side of the floor. Against Des Moines Hodge. Rattan Mays throws to Shelton out front. Can't get off the three. He'll drive instead. Throw up the floater and put it in. Chris Shelton now with five points. And YSU leads 65 to 64. It's our fifth lead change of the day. Four of them here in a very short span of time. Hill knocked Rattan Mays to the floor. No call. But then he missed the lay in and the ball comes out to Cohill of Youngstown State. I think he found himself a little too wide open and expected a whistle and he didn't get it. Cohill now on the forecourt with it for the Penguins, who are up 65 to 64. Cohill gives the ball to Rattan Mays. Far side, far sideline against Johnson to the baseline, and he's pushed and fouled, and free throws coming for the Penguins' sophomore. Foul against Deontay Johnson, his third. Penguins now in the bonus. 4.35 to go in the contest. Shmar Rattan Mays with a solid effect. Uh, effort here today. 14 points in the game. Rattan Mays also with three rebounds and an assist. Two of two from the strike. The Ontario Kennedy native drops that one straight through. 18 points for him now. So Deshaun Parker returns for Cleveland State. Yahil Hill will sit down. Penguins lead at two. Tan Mays already with a career high tying 18 points. Give him 19. That surpasses the 18 he had last year against West Virginia Tech. A new career high in scoring for Rattan Mays as YSU leads 67 to 64. All right. Parker in the forecourt with it for the Vikings. Gives to Gomillion. He wants the ball. Against Allison. Near side left wing. Gomillion looking to drive to the right of the lane. Left wide open, won't shoot. Give to Woodridge, near sideline three, and he pushed it off the back of the rim. Rebound, knocked out, though, to Parker. Gives to Hodge, far sideline. His three's good. Des Moines Hodge with his fourth three of the game. Third time he's done that this year. He's got 18 points now. And just like that, we're tied at 67. So a timeout on the floor, 4.08 to play in the game.
Here's our final game reset brought to you by Auto Owners Insurance and your local independent agent, Champion Insurance of Austintown. 4.08 to play in the game from Bigley. It's Youngstown State 67, Cleveland State 67. Both teams into the bonus. Youngstown State with nine fouls as a team, seven assists to the Vikings. Penguins still with three timeouts left, only one remaining for CSU. Possession arrow points in favor of the Penguins, who will get the ball off the timeout. Tan Mays will come up the floor, working on a career high in scoring. They try to trap him in the backcourt. He stops, needing to give the ball to Tevin Allison, and finally does. Allison gives it right back to Rattan Mays, who's directing traffic out front as Michael Akuche returns for Youngstown State. He gets the ball and gives to Cohill near sideline. 12 to shoot for YSU. Cleveland State sitting in that zone. Ball thrown to Allison left wing. Fakes the three, drives on Parker to the foul line. Feeds it to Cohill, who saved it from going out of play. Cohill with three to shoot, elevates for three. In and out, no good. Rebound followed by Allison. He couldn't get it to go, but he got fouled in the process. Allison skying for that miss. Cohill may have twisted an ankle. He landed awkwardly on that ankle. Foul on Jason Woodrich. That'll be his third, and it will place Tevin Allison of Youngstown State at the free throw line. Allison today, three of four from the stripe. He has 11 points overall. Coach Gates not too happy with that call. He calmly went over and asked the official. Allison pushes the first one straight through. For his 12th point, Youngstown State gets the lead at one. Allison again, shooting 77% from the line against the league, nails them both. Two clutch free throws there for the Penguins who now lead 69 to 67. 3.30 to play in the game. Gomillion with it for Cleveland State, gives to Hodge near sideline. Out front to Johnson. Now to Gomillion, ball knocked away by Hunter who comes in. He goes over the back, commits the foul, and that will do it for Miles Hunter. So Hunter tried to overplay it defensively, instead picks up his fifth foul of the day. He will exit permanently with five points to his credit. As Miles Hunter fouls out with 3.25 to play in the game. Trago Million will go to the line for the first time today. Go Million, eight points so far this afternoon as Chris Schelt comes in for the Penguins. At the free throw line this year, he is a 61% shooter, but better against the league, having made 75% of his attempts. Go Million, he'll get two free throws here. First one, off the back of the rim, no good. Gomillion's brother, Corey, plays collegiate basketball at Mercer. Good family. Good ball player. Trey Gomillion's next one finds the mark. Splits the pair, now has nine points in the game. Cleveland State trailing 69 to 68. 320 to go in the contest. Cohill working up the far sideline. Gives to Tevin Allison of the Penguins in the forecourt. Back to Dwayne Cohill. Working towards the center circle. Pass to Rattan Mays. Cleveland State still in that zone. Cohill to Rattan Mays right wing. Rattan Mays by Allison. Ten to shoot now. Middle of the floor. Pass to Cohill. Cohill looking for Akuche. Nothing there yet. Out front with five to shoot. Rattan Mays down the right of the lane. Through traffic. Scooped it up and in off the glass with one on the shot clock. Rattan Mays with 21 points. Youngstown State leads 71 to 68. 245 to go in the game now. Out front, Deshaun Parker with it for Cleveland State. Gives to Woodridge, far sideline. Woodridge bounces to Johnson near the top of the lane. Works to the near side, scoops the ball to Parker at the foul line. Drives inside, scooped it up, on the rim, rolled in. Deshaun Parker with his first basket of the second half. Now with 11 points overall. Just the second time this season, he has scored double digits for the Vikings. In fact, it's a new single game high for him with 11. And Parker's finding that mismatch with Rattan Mays. So the Penguins take a timeout. They still have two left, 217 to go in the contest. It's YSU 71, Cleveland State 70. This was one of the keys we had talked about for YSU. They had to get to 70. Penguins are 8-1 and one this year when they've scored 70 or more. And today it's been aided by the play of Shamar Rattan Mays, who has a career-high 21 points. Rattan Mays has hit three threes. That's a new single game high. 
made all four of his free throws, and he's had to do this because Luke Chacon is not available. His backup, who has been logging a lot of minutes as a freshman, is out with a hand injury that he, that he had sustained Friday in the loss to Purdue Fort Wayne. So without Chacon, they've had to rely on Shamara Tan Mays, who coming in had only scored double figures in one of his last eight games, but he has truly responded here for the Penguins. Yeah, Shamar Rattan Mays has stepped up large, as we made mention. Uh, and it's a shame that uh, Luke Chacon is not able to play today. A Cleveland kid was really looking forward to playing this game here at Beagley. Unfortunately, he's unable to go. But, boy, has Rattan Mays stepped up. And I'll tell you, another kid that has stepped up is Will Dunn. When Aku Che went down with foul trouble, Will Dunn played some outstanding basketball on both ends of the floor. And we'll see if the Penguins can convert here. 19 to shoot. Rattan Mays takes the inbounds pass, guarded by Parker. Rattan Mays gives to Aku Che. He's been quiet. They double team him, give to Cohill. Penetrates, throws the ball to Rattan Mays. Out to Allison, open three. No, too strong. Rebound run down by Aku Che, however, offensively. Going to take it to the left of the lane. Feed to Allison. Underneath, lost it. Cohill picks it up on the right baseline with 14 to shoot. Cohill looking to drive nothing there. 10 to shoot. He'll bring it back out front for the Penguins. Under two minutes to go in the game. Cohill stumbles to the right of the lane. Five to shoot. Turning offensive foul to Wayne Cohill. That'll turn it over to Cleveland State for Cohill, just his second personal. 146 to go in the game. Daniel Agoro is going to come in for YSU, better defender than Chris Shelton, who's a better offensive player, and he'll sit down. Cleveland State going to come up the floor with a chance to take the lead now. Parker in the forecourt. Goes by the Gomillion screen to the near sideline. Back around Gomillion. Parker drives in on Akuche. Bounce pass Johnson. Up for the shot and scores off the glass. Deontay Johnson with 16 points. New season and career high for him in scoring. Cleveland State leading 72 to 71. Our sixth lead change as the Penguins take yet another timeout. Still one remaining for YSU. 24 to play in the game. Now they gave that basket to Hodge, Rob. And Hodge got the basket, uh, not Deontay Johnson. Oh, so for Hodge, that's right, 30, it was 55 instead of 35. That, that gives Hodge 20. 20 for him. For Johnson, he's still sitting on 14 then, but Hodge is the guy in the second half who really got Cleveland State going offensively. Des Moines Hodge now with 20 in the game. Hodge with four threes in the second half, and he has scored 16 of those 20 points here since halftime. Well, Rob, one of the things that I think Youngstown State could think about doing is play a high-low game with the bigs, trying to soften up this 2-3 zone defense. What you do with a high-low is if you're putting the ball to the right side, the guy low block left comes up to the free throw line. If you can get him the ball, it softens up the back part of that zone defense for easy buckets. All right, for YSU, it'll be Shamar Rattan Mays, Dwayne Cohill, Tevin Allison, Chris Shelton, Michael Akuche. 26 to shoot for the Penguins. Defensively, Trey Gomillion, Deontay Johnson, Des Moines Hodge, Jason Woodrich, and Deshaun Parker. Ball goes into the backcourt to Dwayne Cohill. Penguins need to play smart here. Cohill out front. Cohill by Akuche screen to the near side right wing. Picked up now by Johnson. Cohill drives to the basket, takes the shot, scores. CSU switching to a man-to-man -man oh, defense, yeah. and the Penguins able to respond. Cohill shooting over Johnson now with 17 points. Penguins lead 73 to 72. Under a minute to go in the game now. Out front, Parker with it for Cleveland State against Allison by the double screen. Heads to the foul line, pushes the ball to Gomillion. 50 seconds left in the game. Gomillion, middle of the floor, 13 to shoot to the left of the lane against Akuche, turning 10 to shoot. Can't get off the shot, finally does. Flipped it up on the rim, no good. Rebound on the floor, grab by Cohill of Youngstown State. Working up the court now against Gomillion. Cohill trying to draw contact and a foul, but he'll bring it across the timeline instead. 30 seconds to go in the game. Cohill out front on Gomillion, who takes a swipe at the ball and then reaches inside, commits the foul. Gomillion with his fourth foul, stopped play with 26.9 seconds to go in the contest. YSU leading by one as Dwayne Cohill goes to the line. He's the guy you would want at the stripe. 
Cohill today with 17 points. Most he has scored against a Horizon League opponent. The transfer out of Dayton has scored as many as 20 in a game. That was in a win over Central Michigan. Cohill, line to the right, trying to give his team a full three-point lead here. He's got the one and one coming. Cohill's first, perfect. 18 for Cohill. Now seven of seven from line today. Penguins lead at two. Cohill again, good again. Cohill has now made 18 consecutive free throws for YSU, which leads 75 to 72. Got to play tough perimeter defense here. Gamillion gives to Hodge near sideline three. Left it short. Rebound grabbed by Johnson. Got it to Hodge again near sideline three. Good! With 14 seconds to go, we're tied at 75. Hodge does it again with his fifth three. Penguins now in the forecourt. Six seconds to go. They'll take their final timeout. 5.8 seconds left to play. Now Cleveland State gave Demoy Hodge a couple of chances, and he made the second opportunity work. He missed the first one, but again, an offensive rebound gave him the second chance, and Demoy Hodge now with 23 points in the game, 19 of them in the second half, and that one to tie the contest at 75. All right, Rob, if I'm Youngstown State, I'm creating a play where you get the ball in and they immediately take the basketball to the hoop. These officials have been calling touchy fouls all game long. They're not going to swallow their whistle. Take the chance of getting the ball to the basket. At the very least, you're going to go to the free throw line where the Penguins have been money from the line today. Well, Cohill's been the biggest benefactor of that. He's got himself 19 points today. For Cohill, 8 of 8 from the free throw line. He's now made every free throw he's attempted against the league this season. The 6'2 junior out of Cleveland, played his high school ball at Parma Holy Name, has given the Penguins a chance here to pull it out in the final 5.8 seconds. What you got to do, though, if you're YSU, is don't turn it over and give Cleveland State a chance for a buzzer beater. No, and because you have no timeouts left, you have got to get the ball in on the five-second violation. You got to get the ball in because you cannot call a timeout here. Cleveland State has one timeout remaining. All right, for the Penguins, it is Shamar Retenmaze, Dwayne Cohill, Tevin Allison, Chris Shelton, Michael Akuche. Cleveland State has Yahil Hill, Demoy Hodge, Deontay Johnson, Trey Gomillion, and Deshaun Parker. And now the Vikings will take their final timeout. Dennis Gates wanted to see how the Vikings defense would match up with the Penguins here. And now they'll redraw the strategy. And then if you are Coach Calhoun, here's where you can completely change the play and really play some mind games with CSU because nobody has any timeouts left. 5.8 seconds to go in the game. We are tied at 75. Both teams have had their heroes this afternoon. Deontay Johnson has been one of them for Cleveland State with 14 points in the game to tie his single game high in scoring. He could be a factor here in the final 5.8 seconds because of his defensive ability. But, you know, we've seen a lot of players have some big moments in this game. Johnson and Hodge for Cleveland State. Cohill and Rattan Mays for Youngstown State. First of two meetings between these two teams. We'll do it all over again on Friday, January 21st, 7 o'clock start at the Goodman Arena inside the Wolstein Center. This is what you expect out of these two Northeast Ohio rivals. I love this rivalry that YSU and Cleveland State has. I mean, it's just great basketball. These two teams have a great rivalry going on. It shows on the floor just some intense basketball. All right, Rattan Mays will inbound the ball for the Penguins from the near sideline just to our right. We'll see what Coach Calhoun has cooked up off the inbounds pass. It's a slob looking, throws in. Cohill going to run to the basket, scoop it up, put it on the rim. No, tap, no. They still got a chance. Rebound Hill. We're going to overtime. Penguins had a couple of opportunities. Give Dwayne Cohill a chance just to get it up on the rim. I don't know how he double clutched that thing, but he did, and the Penguins miss an opportunity as Cohill was able to change hands at the last minute, and then Allison couldn't follow the miss, 
And now we go to an extra five minutes of basketball. Well, Deontay Johnson caused all of that. Just some great interior defense. He altered the shot, and Cohill just was not able to switch it to the other hand in time. So great defense by Johnson. That means we got overtime here at Beagley. First overtime game of the season for Youngstown State. These two teams have battled all afternoon. Again, the 98th meeting between Youngstown State and Cleveland State. For these two teams, the last time they went to overtime was March 2nd of 2019 here at the Beagley Center. Cleveland State came away with an 89-80 win. Then February 24th of 2018, they went to double overtime here at the Beagley Center. Again, CSU emerged victorious, beating the Penguins 99-94. to All right, both teams will come out on the floor for the extra session. Penguins today shooting 44% from the field. They've hit 10 threes. Cleveland State shooting 45% from the floor, making only five threes in the game. Youngstown State was 19 of 21 in regulation from the free throw line. Cleveland State only 14 of 25. Well, YSU had a disadvantage in overtime. You got Michael Akuche with four fouls. Daniel Agoro has four fouls. Trey Gomillion has four fouls for CSU. Penguins traveling left to right in overtime. Akuche against Johnson. Opening tap swatted to a right run down by the Vikings to Sean Parker. He'll now jog up the floor. At the forecourt by Cohill. Penguins in the man-to-man -man defense. Ball thrown to Hodge. He sent the game to overtime with a three. Gives a go million. Near side left wing. Runs the alley-oop. Tough catch by Johnson. Fumbled it. Cleveland State's to Sean Parker. Got it. And as he goes up for a shot, he's fouled. Foul access to Tevin Allison. That'll be his fourth. Two free throws coming now for Parker of Cleveland State. Regulation, the game was tied on four separate occasions. We ended up with seven lead changes in regulation. Parker's first of two creates our eighth lead change of the day, giving Cleveland State the early advantage in overtime. Parker again, no good off the back of the rim, and the rebound snatched away by Akuche of Youngstown State. All right, Rattan Mays into the forecourt. Motioning for Cohill to go away. Rattan Mays runs by Akuche to the near sideline now. Rattan Mays picked up by Johnson. Ball bounced to Cohill. On Woodridge, trying to take him off the dribble. He'll pull up instead for the mid-range jumper and miss it. Rebound to Gomillion of Cleveland State. They lead 76 to 75 as we approach four minutes left in overtime. Parker into the forecourt with it for the Vikings. Out front on Allison, who has four fouls. Ball thrown to Gomillion, near side left wing. Throws it right back to Parker with 15 to shoot. Ball pushed top side to Woodridge. Around the screen, double team, trying to get rid of the ball. Still turning, in trouble with seven to shoot. He's going to jack the three. It's off the rim. Rebound to Gomillion with one hand. Turning inside on Rattan Mays. His attempt won't fall on the rebound to Akuche of YSU. Clears to Rattan Mays. Ahead to Cohill along the far sideline. Cohill to the left of the lane. Underneath, reverse layup, no good. He forced it. Ball grabbed by Gomillion of Cleveland State. Hurries up the floor, gives to Parker, whips the ball to Woodridge, near corner, three for him is short. Rebound, grabbed underneath by Gomillion, throws it out to Hodge. Right wing, three, no good off the back of the rim. Ball tapped out instead to Parker, alone for a three from a left wing, and that's no good off the rim. Rebound, fought for, grabbed by Gomillion. Bounces to Hodge on the drive, threw the ball over the basket, but got fouled. And the Penguins just cannot grab a rebound. So the foul against Cohill, his third. Traco Million and the rest of the Vikings just kept going at it until they finally get a chance for some free throws here. Uh, Rob, this is the reason why Cleveland State is such a good basketball team. They're just a very relentless group of guys. They've out-rebounded the Penguins today, 45-31. to 31. Hodge at the free throw line for the first time, misses the charity toss. He's got 23 points overall as Traco Million will come out of the lineup for Cleveland State. 
He'll give way to Yahil Hill. Vikings still only leading by one with 3.08 to go in overtime. Hodge again. That one's good. Splits the pair. Vikings up 77 to 75. All right, Rattan May is working up the floor now against Cleveland State's defense. Across the timeline, he'll come to the near side of the floor. Rattan Mays gives to Michael Akuche, hands off to Cohill. Cohill feeds one open Akuche. Inside, lost the ball on the way up because he was fouled. They'll give it to Des Moines Hodge. His second personal foul gets Akuche to the free throw line. Otherwise, Akuche was wide open for the basket. Tie the game here with two free throws. Akuche, first trip to the stripe. Two points overall. He's an 84% free throw shooter for the season. His first one on the money. Against the league now, Akuche shooting 90% from the stripe. Hill comes out for Gomillion in Cleveland State's lineup. 2.53 to go in overtime. Akuche trying to tie the game for the fifth time this afternoon. Standing line to the right. Next one goes in the air. In and out, no good. Big miss in the rebound to Cleveland State, which leads 77 to 76. 2.48 to play in overtime. Parker in the forecourt near sideline. Ogoro now Allison on him. Parker draws Akuche. He'll back off to the wing. 15 to shoot. Parker drives down the right of the lane. Up with the shot, scores. Sean Parker now with 14 points. Big basket there. Cleveland State leading 79 to 76. They try to trap Bretan Mays. Ball given to Akuche, far sideline. Pushes to Allison down the left of the lane into traffic. Looked like he got away with a walk, but he missed the attempt. No foul call. Rebound Cleveland State, and they're racing it. Hodge to the basket. Scooped it up and in. Will they give him the basket? I think they will. Penguins wanted a foul on the other end. Cleveland State gets the call instead on their end of the floor. So Hodge gets credit for the basket. That gives him 26 points now. Foul against Rattan Mays, his third. Hodge going to the line. Cleveland State leading by five. Their largest lead in the first half was six. They hardly ever led in the second half. Hodge is the reason we're in overtime. He had two chances at a three from the near corner and made it on the second attempt, and then the Penguins misfired on a runner at the end of regulation. Hodges' free throw is perfect. He's got 27 today. Cleveland State now leading 82 to 76, matching their largest advantage of the afternoon. Two minutes to go in overtime now. Ball thrown to Cohill out front to Rattan Mays, top of the lane. Gives to Cohill. He'll penetrate. Up with the floater against Johnson. In and out, no good. Tap good by Akuche. Big follow there by the Penguins' fifth-year senior. YSU will take its timeout now, trailing 82 to 78. 154 to go in the contest. And again, it's going to come down to free throw shooting for Cleveland State, which is just 17 of 30 today for under 57%. Now, for right now, they got to play some very solid defense. Penguins have to keep it, keep their man in front of them. Fight through the screens, fight through the picks. Don't do any switching to create some mismatches into the post. Just fight through your screens. But make no mistake about it, Penguins need to stop right here, Rob. Well, for Cleveland State, they've got a big one coming up. That's why they could ill afford to stumble here today in Youngstown because they'll be matched up with Oakland on January 13th. That's a game in Cleveland as the Vikings begin a four-game homestand with a matchup against Detroit Mercy and then a return matchup with the Penguins on January 21st. These two teams will get two games in the span of 12 days. All right, for Youngstown State, they need a stop at a basket, obviously, down two possessions. Time to do it, though. Tan Mays, Cohill, Allison, Ogoro, Akuche, and White. The five in green, Parker, Gomillion, Woodrich, Hodge, and Johnson. And for the first time all day, Penguins are going to put some backcourt pressure on. Ball goes into Gomillion. They try to trap him in the backcourt. Tries to step through the double team, lost the ball, got it back. Feeds to Hodge. He'll now hold on to it, give it to Gomillion in the forecourt. Gomillion 
Throws the ball now to Parker, who will work the clock. 15 to shoot for Cleveland State. Parker, far side of the floor against Ogoro. In front of his own bench now, eight to shoot. Parker to the right of the lane. Going to go inside, take the shot. An offensive foul against Deshaun Parker. Called for the charge as Ogoro stood his ground on that one. Yeah, that was a good job by Daniel Ogoro. His feet were set like cement, Rob. No-brainer call by the official. Fourth foul against Parker. The charge gives each team a chance to make a change. Gomillion sits down in favor of Hill. That's because Gomillion has four fouls. Shelton in for Youngstown State. Instead of Ogoro, a better three-point shooter. Allison quickly in the forecourt. Down the left of the lane, got to the basket, scooped it up on the rim, fell through for him. Allison now with 15 points. Penguins to within two at 82-80. One fifteen to go here in overtime. Hill in the forecourt gives to Parker. Coming up on a minute left in OT. Parker near side of the floor against Rattan Mays. And you know Parker wants to use a screen to take Rattan Mays to the basket. Akuche on him. Now Allison over, intercepts a pose. He overplayed the pass. Got it to Akuche. Bounce too far out in front of Allison and out of bounds. Allison did a great chance to overplay it defensively and come up with the interception. And then YSU turns it right back over in their haste to get to the basket. Oh, Akuche thought that he had a trailer in Allison, and it just went right by him. So Cleveland State still leading 82 to 80 with 53.6 seconds to go in overtime. All right, Parker going to walk it up the floor now for CSU. Yeah, they need some D right here, right now. Allison on Parker. Penguins have had two stops. It's given them a chance to get back in this after falling behind by six. Parker out front, 15 to shoot. Top of the lane. Parker at the foul line. Throws it out to Gomillion, 10 to shoot. Gomillion on Ogoro. Gomillion inside, pushes the ball to Parker. Goes left baseline, underneath. Almost threw it away. Does he? He did. He threw it away into a cluster of people, and at last hit Cleveland State, and then went out of bounds. 24.6 seconds to go. They'll turn the shot clock off. Why is he with a chance to win it or tie it here? But now the officials look as if, and they will, go to the replay monitor to make sure they got the call right. They want to make sure it went off the proper team that they had called, which would be Cleveland State. Also, I'm sure they're going to check the clock to make sure they got the proper amount of time left. Well, regardless, the shot clock is going to be turned off if it's YSU's basketball. And Shelton has come into the ballgame for the Penguins. That's an extra three-point shooter. YSU today, 25 of 58 from the floor for 43%. They've made 10 threes in the game and have converted 20 of 23 from the free throw line. Cleveland State, 30 of 70 from the floor for 43%. They've hit 5 of 22 from long range and have only connected on 17 of 30 from the free throw line. These two teams have combined to turn the ball over 30 times. 16 committed by Youngstown State, 14 turnovers by Cleveland State, which has dominated the glass, having out-rebounded the Penguins 47-32. to Leading scorers in the game, Des Moines Hodge with 27 to pace the Vikings. YSU has been led by Shamar Rattan Mays, who has 21. It'll be Rattan Mays, Cohill, Shelton, Allison, Akuche for Youngstown State. They do maintain possession, and they leave 24.6 seconds on the clock. So nothing changes by going to the replay monitor. Ball thrown into Rattan Mays. Hodge and Parker trying to double-team him in the backcourt, trying to slice through the double-team, turning, bounce the ball to Cohill. Got to hurry up the floor and does. Bounce the ball ahead to Akuche to the basket. Put it up on the rim. No, ball batted around. Knocked to the baseline. It will go out of bounds. Last touch by YSU. Akuche thought he had a good look at that lay-in. Just came up a touch short. Now they're going to have to foul. Eight seconds to go. I would imagine they're going back to the replay monitor here to make sure. Eight seconds remaining. Cleveland State 82, Youngstown State 80. I don't know if Michael thought he was going to be able to grab that ball before it went out of bounds on the baseline, but... I think they might have had a better shot at just letting that ball go, go and see if the officials were going to call it off of YSU or Cleveland State. Yeah, I think they felt when he went to the corner to try to grab it that maybe they felt, oh, if he thinks that his team touched it, maybe that's who did touch it. So 
that's what they're at the replay monitor right now looking at. And they're going to keep it with Cleveland State, much like they did the last time. They stick with their original call. All right, so the Penguins are going to have to foul with eight seconds to go in overtime, trailing by two. Cleveland State has struggled from the line. Akuche and Rattan Mays, Cohill, Allison, O'Goral now on the floor for YSU. Parker will inbound for the Vikings. He's joined by Hodge, Gomillion, Hill, and Woodridge. All right, Parker from the near corner. Baseball pass down the floor. Catch by Hodge. Going to run to the basket. Missed the shot. Okoro fouled him. And it's a hard foul as Cleveland State leaves its bench. Uh, it's going to be an intentional foul. The officials already called it. Six seconds remaining. The foul against Ogoro means he has fouled out of the game. He's the second casualty for Youngstown State. Miles Hunter fouled out in regulation with 325 to play in the contest. So the officials will go to the monitor here to make sure, or at least to look if it's a flagrant. Well, the trailing official had the arms on a crisscross pattern as if to say it was a flagrant foul, so we'll see what they call here. In the meantime, free throws coming for Cleveland State as they still look to attend to Des Moines Hodge. Vikings went with the baseball pass down the floor, trying to get him ahead of the pack. And why not? I mean, Hodge has been red hot in, over, er, in the uh, second half. He had scored 19 points in the second half, tacked on four more points in overtime, Rob. So he's had 23 points since the break. Well, the Penguins led 35 to 27 at halftime. Cleveland State finally caught him at 63 and took a 64-63 lead. Game was tied at 67, and then the last time came in overtime at 75 before these two teams headed into overtime. The officials still talking amongst themselves with six seconds left to play in OT. I think they're going to rule. It might be okay. I think just two free throws are coming. Yeah, I think just two free throws here. I don't believe it's a flagrant. So that means the free throws will come and then YSU will get the ball. Boy, the Penguins caught a break then because I... Oh, no, I don't think it is. Not, not, not by correct. Let's correct that. They're leaving Hodge all alone. Yep. Yeah, I was, yeah, was going right, to say, that, that's the, the trailing official had the arms in a crisscross yep, pattern. We get the call till just now. Hodge all alone for the free throws. Makes the first one. That's a three-point game. This to set it up. Hodge now with 28 in the game. Three of four from the line in overtime. Make him four of five. 29 in the game for Hodge. Two, none bigger than those two free throws. His team now leads 84 to 80. And I believe CSU gets the yep. ball and out of bounds. they'll get the ball. Yes, they will. Six seconds left in overtime. They're up by two possessions. Dennis Gates will take his timeout here in OT. Now this one back and forth. If Youngstown State had played with this intensity Friday, they probably would have beaten Purdue Fort Wayne. The Penguins come out and they've played very intense, something they have lacked in their last two games. Cleveland State, you have to match that effort, and that's what the Penguins did here today, and it's one reason why we're in overtime. And coming up for the Penguins, they stay at home next week. They continue with a four-game homestand, which will include a game on Thursday against Northern Kentucky, and then Wright State is here next Saturday at 7 o'clock before the Penguins venture back up to Cleveland for their rematch with the Vikings on the 21st. Well, these four games, including today, I mean, you're talking about playing the best of the best year in, year out in the Horizon League, and well, this is this is life in the Horizon League, unfortunately. Cleveland State on the verge of going to 6-0 in the league. Penguins on the verge of slipping to 500 and dropping their second straight league play. Penguins came in 3-2 and two in the Horizon after winning three of four on the road at Milwaukee, at Green Bay. Got a win at Robert Morris as well. Their only road loss was at Oakland, which is where Cleveland State, uh, which is who Cleveland State will meet next week. 
right, the Vikings to inbound. Ball goes into Hodge, makes the catch, shoots, scores. A little icing on the cake for Demoy Hodge, who has now matched his single game high in scoring this year with 31. He had it against Oklahoma State as Allison's three is off the mark to close out the day. Cleveland State wins it by six in overtime. Tough loss absorbed by Youngstown State here today as the Penguins have now dropped eight of the last nine meetings with Cleveland State, including today's final. From the Bigley Center, it was Cleveland State 86, Youngstown State 80. The Penguins dropped the 9-7 and seven overall, now 3-3 three and three in the league. They're 5-4 and four at home, 0-2 oh against league play in this building. Cleveland State now has won four in a row. The Vikings improved to 10-3 and three on the season, 6-0 and oh in league play. They even their road record at 2-2, two and two, now 2-0 two and oh on the road in the league. Again, your final today in overtime. Cleveland State, 86. Youngstown State, 80. Thanks for watching on ESPN+. Plus. We want to thank our crew headed up by Kevin Davis, our fine production effort. Also, thanks to Ron Potesta and Mike Orto. If you're listening on 570 WKBN, stick around for the postgame show. You've been watching and listening to Horizon League Basketball on the Penguins Sports Network.